makeup routine because school's about to start back up so like a quick 15 minute look is all you need and no foundation so you don't really worry about sliding or color matching it's just all night so stay tuned if you want to know how i got this no foundation look hey guys so first things first we're gonna moisturize with nivea cream and i did get darker over the summer so that's kind of what inspired me to make this video because my foundation really no longer matches me so for primer we're using the elf mineral infused face primer For brows, we're using the ABH Dip Brow in Dark Brown, and I've always been like one for like the natural brows. That's kind of like my wave. I've never really liked the bold, dark, you know, dramatic brows. I'm fine with my whatever I do. We're using the Elegare Pro Consumers and Fawn in Pure Beige and we're mixing them and putting them underneath our eyes, using them to conceal our brows, putting our, our eyelids, our chin, our cupid's bow, a little bit on our forehead and down the bridge of our nose. And I know like there's like speed up parts and stuff, but from a day-to-day -day basis, this probably takes me about like 15 minutes. So it's really perfect for, you know, when you're on the go, you don't really have an hour or however long it takes to do a full face. And we're using a damp real technique sponge to blend all that in. I'm using this um, buffing brush just so I can blend the concealer the best of my ability. Using this air sponge translucent powder, we're gonna set all the places that we concealed. I always start with my eyelids first because they crease the fastest. So, you know, get it out the way so you don't have to deal with setting creased concealer.
using the bare minerals powder foundation in clove with a dense angled brush we're going to contour and it's better to go up to your forehead while contouring just because you know the worst thing is like a straight line on your cheek so it kind of helps it look more natural when you contour up to your forehead i'm going between the contour brush the buffing brush and like a light fluffy brush to wipe off the powder just so i can try to blend the contour as best as i can Using the airspun powder, we're cleaning up the contour just a little bit and wiping it off, I mean brushing it off almost immediately. And then using the buffing brush so there's not like a white cast. Blending is really key, always remember that. Now we're just wiping off the rest of the powder on our eyelids. I forgot to con- I forgot to contour my nose. That's what we got to do. Alright, we're good. Using the Becca Champagne Pop Highlight and uh, eyeshadow by Kiko in 208. We're just going to highlight our cheekbones, our nose, our cupid's bow, our chin, our brows. And we're putting the champagne pop first and then going in after with the Kiko eyeshadow. And I did get this eyeshadow in France and I'm not sure if it's available in the US, but I'm pretty sure you can order it on the website, um, KikoCosmetics.com. And we're using the eyeshadow in 208 just to put on top to kind of make the highlight pop just a little. Using the powder foundation and clove, we're just going to bring a little color into our eyelids because I can never do bare eyelids. So just kind of bring out the crease a little bit with this, the same powder foundation that we use to contour. We're gonna use the Milani Make It Last setting spray, but not before we use a NYX lip liner in brown and put that all over our lips. And now we're gonna set our face, and I always do that before I put on mascara. This is just some like generic brand mascara, but I hate when I put on mascara and I set my face and it's like the mascara gets everywhere because it didn't dry. Like I just avoid that completely and just do it before. like this or you could put lashes which I think I'm gonna put on lashes just because but 
either way, it will look great. We're using Salon Pro hair glue and just putting on our lashes. And I always put my lashes on right after I put my mascara while it's kind of still wet. I use tweezers, put on the lashes, and then pinch the lashes, which is kind of another reason why I put setting spray before because I don't want to wet my eyelashes with setting spray. But that's it for this look. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I just got back from traveling, so I will be uploading more frequently and hopefully better quality videos. So... Yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.